Welcome to this week's uh, edition of The Royce. I'm sorry I have a cold, my voice is a bit hoarse, but you'll excuse me because you hear what the Lord wants to tell us today. The topic I want us to explore today is who am I? It's a question that uh, most young people you ask yourself and a few other questions that you ask yourself, who, maybe who am I? Why am I here? Where am I going? What am I doing? But the most important and crucial question that goes around the, the mind of every young person, adolescent, and even older people, but at this time we're exploring the adolescent is, who am I? And therefore the topic, who am I? At this particular time of the adolescent or young adult, you are going through a great change physically, intellectually, and even emotionally. And then you find that the body of an adult is replacing the, uh, the body of a child. Most of these changes are uninvented, but then you find that they are largely um, beyond your control. And most young people, you find that they feel frustrated. They do not understand what is happening around them. You find that there are new um, unsettling questions that are bubbling up in their minds. Some questions they ask, they have no answers. Uh, things that used to satisfy them no longer satisfy them. And since uh, you find that this year, as a young person, you are surrounded by a peer group uh, that is also undergoing through these challenges. And you find now there is uh, a great turmoil and upheaval in your social life. And uh, you find that everything seems to be changing. And uh, the youth, or as a young person, you cannot... Uh, you cannot uh, wonder but ask yourself, who really am I? But for us to manage to answer this question very, very well, we'll answer the questions from the word of God. You find that um, there is where God, uh, Moses also asked God, when God was ask, uh, sending him to Egypt, uh, to Pharaoh, he asked God, when I go there and, ask, and he asked me, who has sent me, whom will I tell him or whom will I say you are? And God told Moses, go and tell them that I am who I am who I am who I am. So the question uh, about who am I is very, very crucial. But uh, we must understand or you must understand what does the Bible uh, teaches about yourself. Hmm? It teaches or it tries to teach us or to tell us that the human race is no accident. No one came into this world uh, by accident. No one is an unplanned inconvenience. Even if you are, you may, even if you are brought up maybe by your grandparents, some of you maybe you may think that you, 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 you are you are born in an unplanned manner or you are brought up by your grandparents or you are brought up in a children's home or in an orphanage that, and that way makes you think that you are an un, uh, unplanned inconvenience but no the bible says that the human race is no accident but rather it is the centerpiece in a wonderful plan that the creator of the universe is bringing to pass and you are part of that uh, plan that the creator want to pass uh, to bring to pass he has made us in his own image that is what the bible tells us uh, so that we can know him and reflect his glory so once we know that that we are made in the image and the likeness of our creator of our god that we may carry and and of even portray his glory we will walk in this life through uh, by, by by confidence but the Bible also teaches us that God knew you even before he knit you well in your mother's womb. We said it here one more time and we have talked it over and over again in many forums in your schools. And we have many times read in the book of Psalms 139 verse 14 there. No, uh, that keep on reminding us uh, that um, God knows you. Not only did God know and gave us life in our mother's womb, but he also had a plan and a purpose 
for each one of you. Our life has been fully thought by him. Before he knit you in your mother's womb, before he put you there, he not only did that, but he had laid down a plan for you to manage to accomplish the purpose he had for you. And therefore, who do you think you are up to now? I want to believe you have come to understand that you are not just an inconvenience. You are not just an accident. You are not just an evolving human being. You are not just anything, but you are a carefully thought, thought out plan of God with a purpose on earth. And therefore, he knows, and we said he knows every day that we are living and has given great thought to each one of us and each and every day you live in this life God has given it a great thought so any time you wake up in the morning and you find that you're well you're healthy know that yet it is yet another day for you to follow carefully the purpose to fulfill the plan that God has given or has laid down for you and therefore who are you you are made in the likeness of God. I am so and so. Maybe you are Kamau, you are John, you are Peter, you are Mary. But you are, you are a likeness of God the creator. And you are here uh, to fulfill a purpose and to portray his glory. And this juncture I want to thank our subscribers so much. Uh, by the time we are recording this, this uh, episode, we have 442 subscribers, and by the end of October, we are believing God will have hit a thousand. And therefore, if you have not subscribed, please just subscribe and also um, press the bell down there so that you can always be updated when we post a video to encourage you. And therefore, God bless you, even as you walk the journey with us. Here are the royals, we love you, and we pray for you that you may fulfill your purpose. God bless you.